How's it Ganon lads? Marshall here and welcome to a brand spanking new series on the channel, Foot Draft Champions. What is that? It is exactly what it says on the tin. Basically what we're going to do each episode is win the Foot Draft and I say that like I'm a good player. I'm really not, but what we're gonna strive to do is win the foot draft. If we don't win in draft one, we move on to draft two. If we don't win in draft two, we move on to draft three. That is it. We only doing three drafts per episode. If we win draft one, that is the episode done. And from the packs we get at the end, we're gonna save them in the club and see if it is worth spending your FIFA points on these packs. That is the experiments. Like I said, I'm not going to open any packs at all till team of the season, which is potentially a couple of weeks away. So if you do want any cheap MSP, PSN, head over to g2a.com, use that code M89, get yourself a discount. Every single link you'll need right there in the description below. As you've seen in the background, this is our first draft. It's not a good one. It really isn't a good one. We had Suarez, we had Ronaldo, we have Ruben Castro, Herrera, Gareth Bale, Mascherano, I was gonna go for Trishoras for the link with Herrera, but I thought, you know what, we'll get another La Liga BBVA calm. So that is the route we went down, Liga BBVA. Center backs really didn't give us anything, so I went for Gary. And this isn't live. Obviously, lads, this isn't live. I've sped it up a little bit, so I'm not kind of wasting your time because I want to explain all the rules and I want to get some feedback of you guys. So if you do enjoy this series, you want to see more of it, hit that like button. If you want to see like this live in the future, hit that like button. Let me know in the comment section below all of that jazz. I'm looking for constructive criticism on this series. I'll look for it all the time. I just want to improve myself to be the perfect YouTuber for you guys. So if you do enjoy the channel, subscribe if you are new. And the team in the background is starting to take shape. Carvajal, he is pivotal to what we were doing because he comes in at right centre back. He gets a link with Laporte, with Mascherano, with Gareth Bale most importantly. Then we go for Balassi. Balassi was an impact sub. And I thought, you know what? This team could be potentially very, very good. We went for Suarez. Suarez comes in at Cam. And he is a great Cam in this game. I did use him. And you're going to see the clips in just a second. Benzema comes in. Benzema goes up front. On this game, I love Benzema. And that 89 rated card is perfection. We went for Patrice Evra just because he was high rated. Soriano, Muller, Villa, Muriel, Candreva. We went for Muller. Then we had Perea, Imana. I mean, that is just terrible. What can you do with that? What can you possibly do with that? We went Pereira, then Antonio Valencia popped up. We just went for him because basically the team is already done. It is already done. We don't need any more players in this team. Then we get the Silvers at the end. We go for Zardes simply because I've got a love for Zardes. Zardes last year, team of the season, was outstanding. So lads, that is our first squad. Let's see what we can do with it. So the first opponent rocks up with a 4-3-3 brackets 4 formation. I thought, you know what? That is a good squad. He's got Ronaldo, he's got Messi, he's got Hero Ibrahimovic, Dani Alves at centre back. It's going to be very hard to beat, but very early on, Moran makes it 1 0, two minutes into the game, and then we were like a house on fire. We just kept going and going and going, and it was that man, Luis Suarez. What a ping, right in the top corner. This guy was the catalyst. He was on bloody fire. And he just set the world alight. He comes in the area. He theatrically goes to ground. He wins the penalty. Cristiano Ronaldo steps up. Sends the keeper the wrong way. 3 nil. That leads to our first rage quit in this series. He backs out. We move on to game number 2. 187 squad. He's got 93 Suarez. 89 Bill. 98 Ronaldo. 92 Dani Alves. And man of the match for Ran. But, once again, this was a very easy game. Early on, very early on, three minutes in, Suarez makes it 1-0. Before, in the second half, Mascherano's ball to Suarez. Suarez with the trickery finds Mascherano again, and Mascherano puts it into the empty net to make it 2-0 in the match. Then, two minutes later, we come forward, we find Bill. Bill finds that near post to lead to our second rage quit in succession. I thought, this is going very well. Two 3-0 rage quits, and I came up against this team, and I thought, yes, bloody yes. 
This is a quality team to come up against. He's got nearly zero chemistry, 79 chemistry. That's nothing in terms of chemistry in the draft, but he takes the lead. Sir Jorier with the finish inside the penalty area to make it 1 0 at half time before I came forward in the second half with a rare attack. Suarez finished off at the near post, and I thought it's game on. But once again, I was wrong. He comes forward, had him bent off and finds Ibrahimovic. Ibrahimovic shot rebounds to Neymar, and then. I don't know what the fuck happened, but anyways guys, we taste the feet. So unfortunately lads, that was it, we got knocked out, we got nothing, jumbo premium gold pack and a premium gold pack, and we go on to the next draft. Paolo Futra popped up, now it was between him and Ronaldo, I went for Futra, you might be thinking, you don't turn down Ronaldo, higher rated, but a legend, Paolo Futra, was just too much. I knew I'd get that 90 year Ronaldo. He comes in in one of the next picks. Then we can choose anyone. We go for the reserves first. We have a lot of players like Gaia, like Isco. Isco comes in. He's a very good player on this game. And just going back to that last draft, that last game was very, very bloody tough. I mean... It's possibly the hardest foot draft I've played in a long time. That final game, he was a great opponent and he played very bloody well. But this team, again, is starting to take shape. We've got a few bench players in Bakambu, in Ronaldo. They will come into the squad because the links with Isco, Alsasa, they are the reason we keep Isco in the squad. We keep Alsasa in the squad. We keep Futra in the squad because we need these links to the players. We go Kazawa, he gets a link with Mendy and then we go for the center back of who do we go for here Miranda Miranda comes in simply because I thought you know what we could get a vintage we do get a vintage eventually and I hope for a Handanovic now Handanovic he never came and I've got to say this foot draft was worse than the last one the last one was all right this one was shite let's just face it it's, it's just looking bad we go to the bench hoping for Handanovic we didn't get him, we just went for a random keeper, Navas. Then we go for Mike Connor Carvajal. We go for Carvajal. And there, uh, yeah, the squad itself, it's not great, but can it be challenging? Will chemistry matter? Will positions matter? We've got a few impact subs in Ronaldo 98 rated in that. Bakambu, Bakambu on this game, very, very good. I haven't, re I haven't reviewed his second in form, but this card was very good. It did impress me, and the subs are subs. Basically, they're just there for showpiece. So, that is the squad we have assembled. Let's move a few things about, and then, uh, yeah, we just get it settled in the squad. I tried Stambouli, Stambouli comes in. We choose the subs, Bakambu, Ronaldo. They will be our super subs, so lads, let's get into the gameplay we got with this squad. So onto the second draft we go then lads, we rock up against a 1-8-8 team, a very high rated team and a very good team. He was a solid player and again, early on, we take the lead. Benjamin Stambouli with a touch, with a volley, makes it 1-0 in quite a laggy game. He comes forward shortly after that, 19 minutes in and he scores a kind of easy goal there at the far post before I come forward from a corner finds Paolo Futura, what a finish from the edge of the area from the living legend that is Paolo Futra. Before he comes forward, again, another easy finish. He comes forward, it just rattles around the area and he finishes off there from the six yard box. I was pissed off at that and it led to me conceding yet another. Comes forward, scores the goal, 3-2. I think that was his name, I'll get that goal. But in the second half, we had a revival. That man again, Paolo Futra, makes it 3-3. He is the catalyst in this squad. Last squad, it was Suarez. This squad, it's not Ronaldo, our super sub. It is Paolo Futra, who was on fire. Before Bakambu, again, another super sub, gets put through, rounds the goalkeeper, makes it 5-3 in the game. An 8-goal thriller was then extended to a 9-goal thriller. Cristiano Ronaldo advancing up the keeper, rainbow flick penalty and I was gonna score that I was definitely gonna score that so when Paolo Futra stepped up I was delighted we win six bloody three and we move on to the second game in this tournament we come up against Aubameyang, Griezmann, Neymar, Bale, Gundogan, Cruz a very nice squad 
and I take an early lead yet again. 30 minutes in, that man, Paolo Futre, he makes it 1-0. Nice work free kick from the edge of the area before, once again, Paolo Futre advances on the keeper, shoots across him, makes it 2-0. 70 minutes in, before Bakambu unleashes Cristiano Ronaldo. This goal, comical. I don't know what's going on there, but it ends up going in off the defender's head, and we win 3-0 in the match. We come up against another 187 squad, but no normal squad. He's got Cristiano Ronaldo as the centre forward. And I always worry when I see that because Ronaldo, at striker in this game, is very, very deadly. Once again, 25 minutes in, our Cristiano Ronaldo, he came on early, he pressed start and made the subs. He came on early, scored the goal. Happy bloody days before Bacambo's cross to the far post. Fuchs header across, and it's a nice volley by Ronaldo into the back of the net. Once again, we come forward. It's header by Ronaldo. It's 3-0, 33 minutes into the game. We, once again, were on fire. Cristiano Ronaldo is unleashed on the keeper, hits the post. Paulo Futre is there to tap it in at the back post to make it four. That ensued a rage quit. We move on to the final. When I seen this team, I thought happy days. The midfield, it's unbalanced. Matuidi's in there, and he takes the bloody lead in the match, doesn't he? 11 minutes in, De Bruyne makes it 1-0. I was pissed off. I'm not gonna lie. I was pissed off before I come forward. Cristiano Ronaldo finds food track, couldn't take the shots. He finds Busquets. Busquets makes it 1 1. Of all players in the squad, Sergio Bloody Biscuits makes it 1 1. We come forward. Cristiano Ronaldo rounds the goalkeeper, makes it 2 1. In the final, happy bloody days. We are on to a winner. Before we come forward yet again, Bakambu on the ball. Bakambu goes through. Bakambu makes it 3 1. I was in bloody dreamland, but it wasn't over yet. Bakambu yet again on the keeper, rounds the goalkeeper, puts it in the back of the net. I was very, very impressed with this card. Before, late on, he ensued a nervy finish. He comes forward, gets the consolation by your own goal. But lads, we won. So there we have it then, lads. You can see the record. Six wins, one defeat. That one defeat in the semi-final of the first attempt. The second attempt, we ended up winning with a worse team. But anyways, guys, we got to claim the prizes. Of course, I'm not going to use these till team of the season. We get two rare gold packs and a premium gold pack. I think that is good. I hope that is good. And you'll see by these ones. Look at this. That's beautiful. Are they 25Ks or 50Ks? I'm not too sure. But anyways, guys, that will be the end of the first episode. Give me some feedback in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, smash the hell out of that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, lads, I will catch you all next time.